everybody welcome to the next commentary today we're playing vladimir midlane versus a zoe uh have not played vladimir in quite some time or made a video on it so i wanted to do that for this game uh we have standard phase rush runes i don't know if this is necessarily the best thing to go against zoe but uh i don't even like the zoe matchup um personally whenever i pick zoe into vladimir i already know that it's basically free uh, the reason why I think that it's free is because if you ever land bubble on Vladimir and he pools after you land the bubble, uh, he is only invulnerable for a short amount of time and you actually can still hit him after he pools. So as long as you land the bubble, he actually has no way to really prevent the damage that's coming and it makes it really difficult. Not to mention sometimes you can just all in ignite when you do that. So the best thing to do would probably just get level 9 and uh, outscale Zoe because eventually you just get to the point where you just run at her and if you just get don't get hit by the bubble there's not really much she can do to escape um so we'll see how aggressive she plays you know do my best at uh not getting hit by her cues or bubbles being behind creeps when I can be when she does have the uh thing available am i gonna get ganked early okay well because my lane is already like slow pushing we might as well just use everything we can to just try to fix it immediately because they do have a jarvan uh and jarvan could just come mid just for a second and try to burn my ghost now it'd be really irritating there he is it's honestly kind of low so we know that he went to uh top side afterwards so we should be pretty safe here also, we're CSing better than Zoe so far. The The goal, if you want to be a good Vladimir into this matchup, is if she ever steps up really aggressively to bubble me, I use pool. Okay, well, I don't really want to use pool right now. Dang, dude. Okay, just hit me with it. If I pool here, it's bad. So it's better just to tank it. Yeah, as you can see how difficult it is. I didn't know if it would hit me or not. What is going on, dude? Okay. I mean, if they think that this is worth his time, the thing is that, like, he spent so much time doing that. So, as you can see, my jungler is really far ahead. Um, I'm not really expecting ganks. It's a Kane. Kane is also a scaling jungler, so... Not really going to expect much from him until he gets his form, whenever that will be. But I'm completely content with soaking the pressure from Jarvan, if that means that uh, nobody else is going to die. So Vladimir has no uh, mana cost, but his W and his E both cost HP. Oh, cool. She actually let me hit her. The thing is that with your empowered Q, uh, the bar underneath shows your Q cooldown, so everybody can see when you have your Q uh, empowered. So that's why they just always run away. Oh, I gave her Ghost. We can't do this. I'll die. I shouldn't have popped Ghost there. It's my fault. I don't know where she is running to, but... Okay, well, she'll kill me. Yep. But the thing is that she dies for it. And I don't even know if it's worth... For her to do that. I guess we'll find out. If he could somehow body block that, he actually would have saved my life. It would have been kind of hard to pull off, though. What he could have done is uh, flash into the queue when she used it a certain way. But she did a good job. Well played by Zoe. Nice bubble. I kind of saw it coming, but the thing is that whenever I play something that I'm not used to, I'll, I'll make a lot more mistakes of, like, I could have flashed over the bubble, for instance. That would have been pretty insane. Um, although, then we would have given her flash. I don't know. Zoe's a really good early game champion, and our champions are not that good together. <laughs> you know, I definitely think Jarvan is, like, a better early game champion than Kane is, so... The ball is basically in her court, in my opinion, during the early game. And she played it very well. The 
the reason for Doran's uh, ring instead of a Dark Seal early is because it just is easier to play with. How Doran's ring works is that if it if you don't have mana to gain, it gives you HP. So that just makes it easier for me to uh, get healing. Wow, I actually got the cannon. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to get it. How's my CS doing? It's doing pretty good. I'm actually doing better than her. I shouldn't even be going for that poke. It does actually does nothing. And I messed up the creeps, too. We just have to let her, you know, look for the harass however she wants. Well, th that's also the reason why most people always take Ghost no matter what. If you're going to take Ghost Ignite, Ghost TP, Ghost anything, it's because Vladimir is pretty short range. So you have to be able to run people down, and that's how you get a lot of kills. Whenever people are low, you go under tower and you Ghost them down. A little bit of poke on her. She missed her bubble, so that's why I was able to fight her back. If she landed bubble, it could have been tragic. But she didn't. I wonder if we can just, like... Oh, nice. We might be able to kill her with Kane coming behind her, actually. Level 7, which is huge. I'm just gonna tap my E for a little bit of poke. It did 50 damage to her there. Not really that much, but it's enough. Because she's at the point where she's actually killable. If I play it correctly. With Ghost plus E. I'm trying to make it so she wants to jump on me, but... She might base. We'll see. We might have missed our opportunity. Maybe I should have just went for it just to try. What I would have done is start my ghost, run at her, use ultimate, use pool as soon as I see her ever cast bubble to just go. Just let me push first and then I'll come over. Like that. So we have our teammate here. Okay, I don't really know what Jace was trying there. It kind of sucks that Thresh took it though. The reason why this worked is because our support roamed before their bot lane support roam because they're winning bot. Plus Zoe based. Dude, you're gonna die, dude. Whatever, you're just dead. I'm just leaving you. You flashed away from Zoe too. That was kind of random by him. He kind of just walked straight into her when he's multiple levels below her. Not really sure about that. His last hit. Zoe is bot side, but she has that flash, so she can always just leave. I don't even think me going bot here is good. One auto attack should kill her. Resh took it. I don't think he meant to, but that's okay. I do not think that we can kill this guy, so I'm just gonna leave. I get the plate though. I'm just trying to help my Thresh. I'm not actually trying to kill this guy. It's not possible. Unless it is. No, it's not. The thing is that I had to wait for my pool plus E to get him. And I don't really think that I would have been able to in the first place. I have such a big buy though. 
the thing is, Vladimir, the certain champions scale with certain things. I mean, every champion scales with items, but I feel like some just scale better than others. I'm going to go Sorks, not uh, Ionian, so I'm just not going to buy that. Vladimir is one of those champions where when you start getting some items, my god, it's night and day. Uh, it's not just love. Okay, cool. I'm glad you didn't die at least. That would have been pretty bad. But, uh, level 13 is huge because that's when your E is max level. Oh, nice. I got a little bit of damage on her because she didn't use bubble there. And it goes down to, like, a two-second cooldown because the amount of CDR you build on Vlad is insane. I was trying to proc my phase rush by running at her there. I got scared. She actually missed bubble, and I think I pulled incorrectly, but at least I tried. I'm level 9 now. The thing is that your pool costs current HP, so it's kind of scary using it. It also is a long cooldown. If I had my um, ghost, I'd be able to chase her down. Our healing is still like really insane at this point, so. Oh, I'm just gonna die, huh? Oh, wait. Oh my god. I'm so lucky that I was able to not die from the initial burst. Yeah, her Q hit a minion, so. I'm sure you can see how difficult this matchup is. Thankfully, Vlad scaling is still so insane that I've lost games where I'm playing Zoe and I just completely dominate them and then I just lose the game because uh, eventually it gets to the point where Zoe can't win anymore because he becomes too tanky. Yeah, the only reason why I lived is because it hit a minion and then I was able to thankfully get off everything that gave me healing. The game is going to start becoming really difficult for her because, as you can see, I'm being able to clear back wave just with my E every single wave. So my wave clear is becoming insane and on a short cooldown. And then my healing is also nuts too. I really think that, I, I think I've played versus some Vladimirs. It could be decent going conquer Vladimir. That's actually not a bad rune. And you take a uh, legend tenacity versus Zoe, and that might actually prevent it from you not waking up as you pool. That could be a thing. Otherwise, just pooling as she throws it. I keep on th not using it because, honestly, I think that she's going to miss, but I guess I should just respect her and just use it every time. Maybe that would be better. I don't really care now because I'm pretty healthy. God, my cooldowns are so low. She is bought. I guess I'll rotate down just in case. But I don't think that they need me, really. Bard's there, too. Yeah, I'll rotate. Yeah, that's game. We win. Coplane's losing. I got a huge three-man. Uh, I think I hit everybody with that. Maybe not Bard, but... Just Vladimir one item is just so damn insane. <laughs> I just flash in. What you do is you hold your E, and then as it's going off, you can flash. So I reposition myself to try to hit as many people as possible. Uh, another thing is you can cast abilities while using your E. So you can pool while Eing. You can also ultimate while Eing, which is important because your Vladimir ultimate makes it so they take increased damage from everything. Vladimir ultimate literally just gives people 10% increased damage. Uh, your whole entire team, including yourself. So what you want to do is when you use your E, and this is awkward because most people use their pointer finger, so when you hold down E, I have to press R and I can't. So some people even bind their R to like other keys just to make it a bit easier.
she's dead. I got my ultimate off, so she <laughs> died to the ult. Uh, that was pretty good. Let's build a stopwatch. We'll eventually build Azania's, but for now we're just gonna go straight death cap second. The thing is about death cap is that your passive just gives you bonus HP, so when you build a ridiculous amount of AP from an item, then it gives you the stats of HP. So, you know, items give you different stats. Like this gives you HP, but this is just gonna make it so it's basically like a Shadow Flame, but better. I don't know how much HP exactly it's gonna give us, but this is gonna give us, you know, over 200 AP. Which is going to make us tanky. And also, normally cooldowns are already so short that you don't necessarily need to go something like Cosmic Drive immediately. You can just build that later. Also, like, Zhonya's gives you it, so... God, my cute cooldown is so short. Just everything's short. I'm not even 13 yet. And this gets lowered by over a full second. It goes from 4.65 to 3.32. The difference at a 12 between 13 is really crazy. I was going to go bot, but a fight's breaking out. So I'll just rotate to it just to make sure that we win no matter what. Nice. And then I'll just go bot, I guess, and chill down there. I'm sorry for taking some of your farm, farming together for some reason when we shouldn't be. Is Jarvan AFK? It's really weird that I haven't seen him in a while. Another thing that I didn't mention for a long time is that when you have your empowered Q, you can use your E to delay the uh, rate that it expires. So, like, right here, I can slow it down in, s like, quite a while. And then also, sometimes you can use your E twice because the cooldown is so short. So you can delay it twice in a row if you really want to. And then that catches people off guard. Oh, no, we see where Jarvan is. He's topside. But... I might be standing on a ward, possibly, because I don't have Sweeper. Uh... You know, I could attempt to try to dive the Zoe, but it's probably not a good idea because the whole entire enemy team was missing and my team had no pressure at that time. Okay, now I'll rotate over to this fight that's breaking out. But it looks pretty one. The cane is really fed. He has two core already. Okay, kind of wasted ghost. Damn, she knew. I wanted to test to see if I could one-shot her, but I guess we won't know. What I tried to do was hold down E, E, R, Q, and it was an empowered Q. So this would have hit for, you know, 500, 10% more of that. This also hits for 500, so, like, the total damage is 1,000 together, which is pretty damn nuts, because you know the cooldown is so short, and this is also AoE. So I wanted to see if I could just one-shot her. Doesn't count like this item that also deals damage too. Darn. Well, we tried. She was aware. Yeah, this matchup is very volatile. Like, she she was dominating me. I think she, that she played better than I did, for sure. Makes sense. Uh, I don't play much Vlad at all. But also... She made one mistake where I killed her, and then the whole entire lane just flipped on its head. Her teammates are definitely losing, but it definitely felt like just one mistake really screws up the entire game for her. He didn't lantern. What? Okay. I was waiting for the lantern to bring me over to help. That's what I was literally waiting for, so I could, like, hit him with anything. But he didn't use it. 
The enemy team's like all one AFK. It's super over. All right, let's see how much HP this gives. I only need 20 gold. I'm at 396 bonus HP. Vladimir's passive being that whenever you build AP, you get bonus HP, and whenever you build HP, you get AP. So it goes from 396, and this gives me like over 200 AP, to 670. So about 300 HP, which is better than Shadow Flame's HP. That's why Deathcap is like uh, rushed on Vladimir so often. He's a champion that functions better than all others. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. Sorry that it was kind of a, a short video. But uh, it's really hard to sometimes get videos inside of these ELOs. Because I've noticed that inside Master ELO, normally one team stomps the other. And then if I, like, my past two Vladimir games, I'm doing okay. But my teammates are, like, 0, 6, 0, top lane Fiora. And it's actually just not playable. So it's very volatile. It makes it really hard to get longer games because the games are just so one-sided. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Peace out.